Today we are going to connect a thermal printer with our computer using Ethernet cable and router. So for this purpose I have uh, X printer TATA. Uh, it have Ethernet port on the back. So other than this we are using TP-Link router. This is a router ports. Uh, you can see in one, two, three, and four. So this ethernet cable which is coming from my computer i will connect it to port number one the second ethernet cable which is coming from um, the printer thermal printer we will connect it to the port number two okay so this is the setup that we need first ethernet cable coming from computer to port number one and second ethernet cable coming from printer to port number two that's it so this is the simple setup we need and after this we need to take a self test page from the printer to know the IP address so for this purpose you need to first turn off the printer first you need to turn off the printer after that in order to turn on and take self test page you need to Press both the feed button and the power button at the same time. So once you have the self test page, you will see the IP addresses. The IP address is 192.168.123.100. So once we have uh, connected the router and printer and turned them on, we can move to our windows to configure the printer. So let's go to control panel. Go to view task, win, uh, view network status and task. Open the Ethernet adapter. Don't open the Wi Fi, just go to Ethernet. Go to properties. In the IPv4 TCP, open this and here use following IP address. Here enter the IP address 192.168.123 and the last figure should be different from the one which we got from the self test page so i will select 101 everything else should be same 192.168.1231 close it close now go to command prompt and try to ping the ip address of printer 192.168.123.100 okay so we are getting reply from the printer so it's fine printer is connected now we need to install the printer driver okay windows 10 other and xpatc install now <coughs> okay so do you want to configure printer uh, let's go from start. We can go to printers. Open the printer which we just installed. So this is the printer which we just installed. Uh, go to printer properties. Go to ports. And, okay, add a new port. Standard TCP IP port. New port. Here we will enter the IP address uh, which we got from the self test page 192.168.123.100. Let it search and it will it may take some time. Okay, once the search is finished, you will see this screen. Just press the next button, finish, and close these windows. Okay, now your printer is installed and uh, let's just try to print a test page okay so our printer has successfully printed the test page so that's the setup we need to use the POS printer using Ethernet and a router so in case if you want to use multiple printers on the same network setup uh, using Ethernet and the router that is also possible so 
here I have a same same similar model of XPrinter. So let's start by taking the self-test page of this printer. First we turn it off and then uh, press both buttons, feed and power, to take the self-test page. But as you see the uh, IP address of this second printer is also same as the first printer. So in order to use it we need to change the IP address of this printer. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, I am taking the Ethernet cable of this first printer out from the router. So at this time, only the second printer, second printer will be connected with the router. In the router, there are uh, I have connected the Ethernet port on the third port of the router. So this port is connected from the second printer to the router. To change the IP address of this second printer, we have a software from the manufacturer. Uh, in this software, you can see that uh, we need to select net. So it means printer is connected via Ethernet, pause 80. And current IP address of printer is 100 and new IP address we need to select 99 so if we press the set new button we get this notification that printer address set success and uh, this printer also uh, gives a beep sound so press ok now you see the printer IP address has been changed so if we take the test page again You will see that uh, the IP address is now 99. Okay, so after this, we need to install the drivers again for this second printer. XPATC, other and Windows 10. This is my setup, so you can change the windows if you have other windows. Okay, so now let's go to printers. Or before we can check the command prompt and try to ping the IP address 192.168.123.99. Okay, so okay, that's successful. We are getting reply from the printer. Now we can. Uh, this is the second printer which we installed. We can change the printer properties. Go to ports. Add a new port. TCP/IP. Next. enter the new port of the printer uh, IP address of the printer click next it will take some time so okay the search is done and uh, you will see the screen just press the next button and finish button close this and also this one close now you can take the test page okay so our second printer is successfully connected and it's printing the test page Let's just also connect the Ethernet port of the first printer. Okay, so now both of our printers are connected uh, with the router using Ethernet port. Let's go back to our first printer and try to take a test page. Okay, so now both of our printers are connected successfully with the router using the ethernet cable and now we have a setup of two printers with one pc